Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 16, Problem Set. We'll start reading with number 1, and it says, Locate a point in quadrant 4 of the coordinate plane. Label the point A, and write its ordered pair next to it. So I need to find my quadrants first. And I know that quadrant 1 is up here in the top right, quadrant 2 is right next to it, quadrant 3 is the bottom left, and quadrant 4 is the bottom right. And the way I remember this is, if I start here at 1 and work my way around to 2, 3, and 4, it makes a C for the coordinate plane. So that's just one way I use to represent it or to remember this by. So to start, I need to uh, locate a point in quadrant 4 and then label it A. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to label it. I'm going to put a point right there. It's A, and then I need the ordered pair for it. And I know uh, I got to go along the X first, so I'm going horizontal first. And I see it's three, and then I'm going down to two, so that's a negative two. So that's uh, my labeled point there. So for part A. It says, reflect point A over an axis so that its image is in quadrant 3. So that's the first thing I'm going to look at, is I need to go from this quadrant to this one. And I see if I'm looking at the axis, what axis is going to allow me to fold the page over the axis and get that point A into uh, quadrant 3. So I know I'm going kind of horizontal with this. Uh, if if I'm folding it the other direction across the x-axis, it's going to move it up here. If I fold it across this y-axis, it's going to move it over to here. So that's the direction I'm going to go. I'm going to fold it across the y-axis or reflect it across the y-axis. And the best way to do that, if it's just the y-axis, um, I like to see how many away from that axis is point A. And it's a straight shot over. So I see I have one, two, three jumps. So in order for me to do the reflection across it, I start at the Y axis on the same, um, I would say on the same point or on the same plane. So I'm doing a straight line going across. I'm gonna go one, two, three. And there's B. And now the only thing I need to add to it is the uh, coordinates of it. So I know I'm going across the X first, so I'm going to the left. So that's 1, 2, that's going to be a negative 3 if I have to move to the left after starting at the origin. And it's down 2, so a negative 2. So there's my coordinates for it. So I just reflected A across the Y axis and got to image B. Now the rest of this, write its ordered pair next to it, label it image B, got that. Which axis did you reflect over? And I'm not going to write out a sentence because there's not a lot of room. But I'll say reflect Y axis. What is the only difference in the ordered pair of points A and B? Um, I would probably write this down, but what's the only difference between the ordered pair? I see that I have three, negative two, and now I have negative three, negative two. So the only difference in this is the x coordinate or the first coordinate went from a positive to a negative. So I'd explain that with uh, the only difference between A and B is the first or X coordinate changed from 3 to negative 3. And I'll slide that. And what I'll do is I'll move it up so you can read it. 
So the only difference between A and B is the first or X coordinate, because it is the X, we're going side to side there, the horizontal changed from 3 to negative 3. So that's point, uh, or part A. When you go into B, you're going to then reflect it to get it to uh, quadrant 2. So you're starting with B, and you're going to try to get it here. So now you're looking at how or which axis would you fold to get it over there. I uh, hope this helps, and good luck on your problem set.